have their first championship title in 16 years. It's exciting times, you know, the young guys we've got coming through the system, um, through the academy. You can, even as an older guy for me, I, I can still learn from them, as I hope they can learn from me as well um, with the experience I've got. So um, they're a mature bunch, which you, you can't always say in, in young lads. Um, so that always helps. Uh, they're very respectful to their elders, which also helps as well with me being, being one of them. So. Uh, no, it's, um, it's a really good dressing room to be in um, and it's exciting times. When Bats was captain, I got given the opportunity to come in when I was 17, still in school and um, still trying to get my A-levels, but obviously it was a massive distraction. Kind of, you can't, some people say it's, a, it's easy to balance school and cricket out. It's, it's a very tough thing to do and Bats, for me, managed it perfectly. He would always say, are you happy at school? We're not gonna, we don't play if you're not happy. Like, always felt, made me feel comfortable and um, as you can see, there was a photo cup maybe last year where there was four, myself, Birds, Ryan and Popey in one picture. We all came through the academy together and to be playing in a game together is almost pretty surreal. We feel like we're back at like one of the school grounds playing for the academy and, um, and trying to earn these contracts that we're on now. So it's kind of to be in, in the professional staff with a few of my mates all the same age is, is pretty awesome. We obviously thought it was quite a cool little picture, but I didn't think it, we'd be talking about it now. Um, and I think we were having a few, quite a few sort of big names were commenting on it as well. A few ex-Australian cricketers were commenting on it. And then that's when you sort of realise how special it is uh, and what an exciting time it is as well. And what potentially could be a pretty special career, hopefully for us all at this great club. I wasn't expecting to play the first game, so it was... Uh an opportunity which presented itself and I guess sometimes opportunities come in different shapes and forms and luckily I got some wickets in that first game and I think that Yorkshire game was, was an important one I think that you know it was a it was a tough game it was weather involved in the game and things like that and um, yeah when I got my chance in the in the second innings managed to get Root out and get a couple of other wickets and you know it was a it was a good game. We've been conscious of uh, Michael, myself, Vikram is to give the youngsters an opportunity yeah, because we always believe the young players will grow and grow quickly. Um, so Conor McCurr, uh, we've had glimpses, unfortunately he's had injury setbacks um, and he's now a fit, strong young lad. Uh, and when he's played, he's, he's looked the part, so there's massive potential there. And then Amar Verdi, uh, would he have played the first game of the season if Gareth Batty hadn't have had the back spasm? Probably not, no he wouldn't. Gareth Batty would have been in possession uh, and then it had been down the verge to try and rip the shirt off him and Bats was not going to give it up lightly. Now the roles have been reversed. I think it's sort of a brilliant setup here, um, but most importantly it's, it's performance driven. Um, for every sort of guy that comes through the academy, you're going to have maybe a dozen that don't quite make it, but the guys that are, are coming through are ready to put in performances and um, it's, it's a bit of a, probably a golden generation to have those guys are 20 years of age all coming through to, to make first team cricket together and to have the, the support network of each other um, and be comfortable around guys to learn and become better players. It's, I think there's no better place for a young player to be. We've seen Will Jacks this season. Wow, you know what a talent that boy is. And then Ryan Patel is coming in. What about those wickets he took at Guildford when nothing was happening? You know, unbelievable stuff from him. And then we've seen Jamie Smith come in and Gus Atkinson and the Connor as McCurr as well has just been absolutely brilliant. And you know he's definitely one to keep an eye on. So I could name a lot of names, but I just think there is a convey about coming through now, and it's very very exciting. And if we can keep that core of those players together for a period of time, um, there's no reason why we can't win, win all trophies um, in the next couple of years um, and really dominate county cricket. Someone told me at the end of the summer I'd have played five tests, would have been, I would have chopped their hand off. There's a pathway for people to follow and it's great to see our boys performing on, on the world stage.